Hi guys, welcome back. It's a new week, so we've got a new video for you. This week we're going to take a look at the pattern tools available in SolidWorks. We're going to look at linear, circular, curve driven and fill pattern. Um, I recently did some work um, using the tools and um, so I figured I'd make a video and share with you. We're just going to walk through um, the setups and what you can achieve with them. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name's Dan Mogridge. I'm a design consultant based in the UK, and the aim of the channel is to share my design knowledge, encourage other people to share their design knowledge and get into design, meet like-minded people and have some fun along the way. If you've watched any of the videos or enjoyed them, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notifications button as we've got content coming weekly. All right, guys, let's jump in and take a look. Hi guys, so we're just going to come in um, and I'm going to open up a casing. Uh, now, for this example, this is um, just a typical plastic um, part or a moulded part. <clears throat> and the example I'm going to show you today is um, we're going to pattern some holes. And I'm just going to say that for this example, this is a say part of a speaker molding so we're going to look for an array of holes um, in this molding that will uh, enable the sound to come out of the casing um, there are it's worth noting you could do bodies you could you could pattern various things but for this instance we're going to be looking at cuts um, holes specifically so to start with we're going to look at a linear pattern and I've already done the setup here, so we'll take a look at it um, and um, I'll show you what the setup is required. So all we've got here is um, a simple sketch. So if I come into the feature, go edit feature, I've got a, a five mil diameter hole and I've put it 50 mil off the center line. And I've, I've left a construction line in there that's horizontal. And this vertical line is giving me the center point um, on this face. So that's all it's doing. I've shown the sketch because I'm going to use it in the process. So come into linear pattern at the top here, come in. Um, first thing it's asking for is direction one. So I'm going to select our sketch, which is telling SolidWorks that we want it to pattern in this direction. Um, direction one, um, this is the spacing. So 10 mil. Yeah, I'm happy with that. But actually, what I'm going to say is, if I've set this sketch up at 50, I'm going to put it at um, 100, and I'm going to divide it by 7. Um, and SolidWorks has worked that out um, for the equal spacings. So we'll come down to Features and Faces, and we'll select the cut. And there you go, it's... Um, it's calculated the holes, the number at our set spacing. You can use up to reference, um, which you basically tell it, you give it a reference. I don't know if we can select the vertex there. So it, it works, you know, you can, it can pattern it up to the reference um, and you can adjust the dimensions and stuff. But for this one, I'm just gonna focus on uh, spacings and instances so we'll put that back up to eight now um, it's worth noting as well look you've got a direction two here so we're going to select this sketch for direction two and this is telling SolidWorks that it's coming down from top to bottom and um, I'm just going to increase the instances there uh, pattern seed only is um, if you're looking at the seed as the uh, original instance so you can see um, it's only going to pattern the seed, the first one that we created, not the um, the linear patterns. Uh, so I'm going to turn that off because I'm going to say we want that there. There's another option here for bodies. Like I said, uh, I mentioned earlier, you can do uh, bodies, but today we're looking at cuts. Instances to skip, um, you can select it to drop out instances. Um, so we just go okay there and yeah that's a brief intro into linear pattern so what i'm going to do now is suppress that and the cut 
hide the sketch and I've got the circular pattern cut here I've set up the circular pattern cut in this model just going to view axis um, so for circular pattern we want a feature and an axis come up to the top circular pattern parameters we're going to select the axis and features and faces we're going to select um, the cut which is these five instances uh, and you can adjust I've selected equal spacing here you can adjust the instances and the uh, the degrees but if you want it to be in a full circle obviously you want it as 360 um, other options we've got here bodies again um, you can pattern bodies and instances to skip like we looked at earlier and then if you want to edit that just go edit feature and remove the instances to skip so that looks that looks quite cool but what we're going to go on to look at now is um, the fill pattern and the curve driven pattern um, so I'm just going to suppress this one so we just want to um, suppress this one a minute and we can hide the axis so we're going to look at the fill pattern now so I'm going to unsuppress the seed cut and I've got a sketch here uh, which I want to show and that one so just worth noting here what we need for this one um, I've got a sketch that shows the boundary for the fill pattern and um, a, a sketch that shows the direction for the fill pattern so come on up to the top under linear pattern we've got fill pattern at the top here we've got fill boundary so we'll select that sketch uh, then we've got uh, loads of options here so pattern layout loop spacing I'm gonna say 10 mil target spacing instant spacing 10 mil margins are set to zero this is the pattern direction which is our sketch features and faces and there we go now once you've selected those you can change the pattern um, to whatever you want I think for this example I'm going to go with that one because I think it looks cool again worth noting you've got a bodies option here so you can do bodies as well instances to skip same as before you can take out holes um, if you if you don't want certain holes in there um, and there's something quite cool about this um, if there's an option here that says look create seed cut and this um, is basically if you want a different profile than your sketch um, SolidWorks can work that for you um, so it's just it's a cool little um, thing to mention so we could say here I don't know if you want to make them smaller instead of our circle we want it to be um, this shape that we've selected and you can adjust the dimensions and the um, orientation of it and if we go okay there we go that looks quite cool so that is the fill pattern I'm going to suppress that one down and uh, suppress our sketches and the last one we're going to look at is the curve driven pattern so we've got a cut here uh, and a sketch there show that so the setup for this um, same as before it's a five mil diameter hole and I've made a sketch um, which this is actually worth noting um, you could use the ver the vertex or the edge of the model but um, I've selected it and, uh, and converted entity on the sketch and then I've um, finished the point 20 mil down because I want the pattern to finish 20 mil down whereas if you selected the edge um, it would go right up to the end 
So let's have a look at the feature. Uh, which one is it? Curve driven pattern. So direction one is our sketch. Features and faces is our hole. And again, you can just adjust the number of instances. Equal spacing is does what it says on the tin. Um, and then you've got a direction two option on here. So we can select this edge down the bottom if we want um, multiples. So that looks quite cool. And then you've got um, bodies. You can do bodies again and instances to skip as we previously looked at. So um, so that, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, th there are a couple of other pattern options you've got sketch driven table driven and variable pattern I'm not going to go into them this week um, maybe we'll look at them another day but they are there for future if you want to have a look at them um, so yeah I just thought I'd high spot them and show you the ones that I thought might be of use to you um, let me know do you um, use the patterns do you think they're good um, are there any limitations um, that you found or you, you think could be improved on um, generally I think it's a great tool um, worth spending some time having a play around um, it's useful to have in your sort of inventory but um, yeah so that's it for this week guys if you like the video please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notifications button we've got content coming weekly and as always I'll see you next week bye